Hi, this is Stremlin with Steve, and today we're going to take a look at a cowboy lick. This always makes you feel like you're just riding the range with Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and all those, well, for some of you, ancient people, but for the people from my childhood. <laughs> we're doing here is making a sixth chord. So we're adding the E, which is the sixth step of the G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we're putting it in the middle of the chord. And we have a finger that can do that. It's playing the B on the A string. And it can just go over to the D. Doesn't that just make you feel like you're in the West? With a horse just moving nice and easy underneath you. But it's not enough, is it? Well, let's add a C. Now what's interesting is to make the G6 chord, I've got to add an E, which is in the 2nd fret. To make a C6 chord, I've got to add an A, which is in the 2nd fret. It's a different finger though, isn't it? My 2nd finger is what's playing the E in the 2nd fret for the C chord. So I need to get that A on the G string with that 2nd finger. Notice there's a little dotted kind of swingy rhythm going on. I'm not strumming everything very every time, am I? The other thing I'm doing with my right hand is playing an alternating picking motion. A down up. There are chord, two chord songs, but this one really wants a third chord, doesn't it? Well, a lot of good songs only have three, so we've got a GC. The next one we're going to expect to get, Handy Dandy Chord Finder, G, A, B, C, D. Here's C. feeling calmer already. Hectic time, but when I get on my horse and saddle up and play these six chords, I just feel at peace with the world. There we are back at the stable. We'll see you next Tuesday. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn how to play guitar, come on over to jamplay.com.